AMC stock had another beautiful day today. It closed more than 4% higher and it's still moving up after hours. It's currently sitting around $16 per share after hours. I believe it's up another one plus percent and things are looking good. But you know, during the live stream today, I had some questions and I had a few different people asking me, how do you feel about still being an AMC? How do you feel that it's been taking so long? What about your precious short squeeze? And you know, to sum it up, the short squeeze is absolutely still on, but I do want to go over some differences. I want to talk some numbers and I want to look at the fact that a lot of people are out there trading different shares and trading different companies and making money in the meantime and why this is an absolute good thing to see. So if all of this sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay. I'm here to make 2022 the best year ever. If you haven't clicked that subscribe button, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day, and we are growing our portfolios together. And look, if you're brand new to investing, you don't know how or where to buy stocks and crypto, you got a link in the description for Weeble. Super simple to set up your account. Any deposit gets you guys five free stocks right now, and then any $1 crypto trade gets you your choice of $5 in free crypto, and then you guys get crypto exclusive exchanges down there as well, so make sure to check it out. And uh, yeah, ApeCoin is available on those crypto exchanges. So make sure to sign up if you guys want ApeCoin as well. But let's talk Let's talk AMC for a minute because it had a phenomenal day. And I know it didn't perform as, as well as some of these other stocks like Mullen Auto and some of these others that have been rising. But look, any solid growth that we can string together like we've been doing this week is great. And you know what I really like to see? You're out there scrolling through Twitter and you see some guys that are brand new to AMC jumping in AMC. Why? Because they feel like the market is bottomed. They feel like AMC has bottomed and they're starting to begin or they're beginning to become confident in the market and in AMC once more. Guys, that is a that's a very, very bullish move. When people are out there confident in their investments, especially AMC, and they're willing to put their money where their mouth is and jump in for the very first time, I mean that could absolutely lead to another movement just like we had last year, and hopefully eventually the short's covering, right? But, you know, just to address the, I don't know if they were trying to troll in the in the live stream earlier, or what they were really trying to do, but just to address that, yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you, man. I, I wish that AMC would have squeezed last year. I wish it would have squeezed in February, March, didn't have it in March, April, and so on. You know, I would have loved for AMC to have reached its potential and then came back down. But you know how I say, I, like notice that I said, I wish it would have reached its potential. I don't think that it did. I don't think that $70 was AMC's potential. I think it can go much higher. And, you know, you've got you've got a couple different camps now. Some people believe that the short squeeze was to 70 bucks, and now it's going to be too difficult to reach. And, and then they start to jump on the boat that nobody should be playing any other stocks. You should be 100% invested in AMC, and all of these other stocks are distractions. So I do want to discuss that because distractions, maybe but they could also be viewed as a very good thing. Now, I can never advocate that somebody goes 100% in any one stock because that does lead to a just a paramount uh, amount of risk. You can lose everything on one single play. And I know there are people out there who did go 90, 95, 100% into AMC stock, and it leaves you stuck, right? You're doing amazing if the price is going up, but it's difficult is all get out to watch the stock price go down. And as people look at Mullen Auto, and as people look at, you know, CEI was was running a couple of weeks ago with all of the, the energy and oil announcements and excitement, there are going to be other plays. And if you can make money or lose money or just invest your money in all of these other plays, it's going to, yes, take the negative attention off of AMC, but it's not going to take the positive attention off of AMC. The name of the game in the AMC stock short squeeze is willing to hold the amount of shares that you hold. Not going out there and buying a million shares and holding a million shares or, or buying a million shares and being so tempted to sell your million shares the next day as you see a price swing up and down. And I know a million, I'm just using that as an example. That's a lot of shares. I don't have a million shares. So, you know, if you've got money set aside and that's your AMC money and you are willing to hold that, that is, that's, that's the best thing that we can do 
for the AMC stock short squeeze. It restricts supply. It just, it dries it up. It makes sure that the hedge funds can't go out there and buy these shares. And therefore, when it does start to squeeze higher and that supply is restricted, it's going to have that much more likelihood of squeezing to these astronomical levels. Because if those shares are constantly being traded, if you're in AMC, if you're out of AMC, if you're nervous about AMC, if your emotions are getting caught up in AMC, you're going to be likely to let your shares go. And that is absolutely one of the worst things we can see because as soon as you sell, you know, you create that, that price, uh, I don't know, suppression because you're willing to sell. Even if it's a great gain, great dollar wise, if it's a short percentage wise, it's going to be much more difficult to reach these higher and higher and higher prices. So to all of the people out there that are making money in Mullen right now, awesome. To all of the people who are out there trading Prague, Awesome. To all of the people who might be taking a very, very large risk on this gold mining company that Adam Aaron and AMC Entertainment decided to buy, awesome. Be careful, but awesome because you're allowing yourself not to get caught up in all of the emotions of holding AMC and you become dangerous when it doesn't matter what the price action is doing, but you are willing to hold no matter what. If you are generating income in other plays, awesome because the shares that you have in AMC are locked and loaded and ready for the squeeze. You know what? I'm going to go as far as to say it doesn't matter if you funnel those profits back into AMC. Hold what you are comfortable holding. It's as simple as that. If you're comfortable holding one share, dude, hold one share. If you're comfortable holding 10, 50, 100 shares, Hold what you are comfortable holding because it's going to make you that much more dangerous during the short squeeze. Think about it. If everybody out there was holding AMC shares that they're willing to hold no matter what, I mean, it, it just the potential is unlimited. If you could not get me to sell my shares based on lower prices or based on higher prices, and you duplicated that across every single holder of AMC, it would be impossible to beat us. And I believe that we will get there. And I believe that people are learning as they go on who they are as an investor and what AMC stock means to them. Guys, I want to know what you think, though. Just let, let me have it down in the comments below, because I truly believe that it's a good thing if you've locked your say, you locked your shares of AMC away and maybe you can distract yourself with something in a positive way. Not sell your AMC and take it to Mullen and take it to HYMC and take it to all of these different shares. Lock those aside and move on with your life and deal with the stress in a positive way. So let me know down in the comments below what you guys think. If this button right here is still red, make sure to click it. Subscribe to the channel. Join us. Become a bro. We are here every single day and we are growing our portfolios together. Claybro883 on Twitter and Instagram. We will buy at Gemini Crypto.com. Until the next time, hope that each and every one of you have an awesome day.